The following video provides installers with troubleshooting steps to take. If the IQ Gateway LEDs fail to illuminate, this troubleshooting will require you to be on site. First, make sure that the gateway breaker is switched on. If it is not, switch it to the on position and check to see if the LEDs light up. If the gateway plugs into an outlet, simply unplug the gateway and then plug it back in. Be sure to verify that the outlet is receiving power. If the LEDs do not light up, power cycle the IQ gateway and check again. All four of the gateway LEDs will flash red when first powered on. This takes roughly a minute while the gateway boots up. If the LEDs still don't light up, check the wiring and installation of the IQ gateway. The ground and neutral wires should connect to the ground and neutral bars, or they can be connected to a combined ground neutral bar. Ground and neutral wires should never be connected to the improper terminals. You can reference the wiring diagram on a sticker that is located inside of the door of the IQ combiner box. If you are not using an IQ combiner box, you can find these wiring diagrams in your quick install guide or on the Enphase website. Once you've verified that the IQ gateway wiring is correct, you will need to test the line voltages. Measure the AC voltage between line 1 to neutral and the AC voltage between line 2 to neutral. You will also need to measure the combined AC voltage of line 1 to line 2. We will use the easiest math for approaching expected voltages for these locations. If the electrical service is supplying 240 volts AC, then you can expect your line to neutral readings to be half of that voltage. So both line 1 to neutral and line 2 to neutral should register 120 volts of AC. We combine these voltages when we test line to line for a total sum of the supplied AC voltage, so we should expect a reading of 240 volts AC. The ranges for line to neutral readings can vary between 108 volts to 132 volts, whereas line to line voltages can vary from between 216 volts and 264 volts. When testing these voltages, be sure to keep the voltmeter on each line for at least 30 seconds while testing. This will allow you to make sure that the voltage is stable. Never rush the process of voltage verification. If the AC voltage varies significantly when testing line 1 or 2 to neutral, then the issue is likely in the neutral. To test the neutral, create a jumper between the neutral bar and the ground bar. To create the jumper, use a small piece of copper wire to bond the neutral and ground bar together. After creating the jumper, test the voltages again. If the AC voltage is correct, backtrack the neutral to determine where the issue is. After the issue is resolved, remove the jumper and test the voltages again. If the AC voltage is not in the acceptable range, backtrack and test line 1 to neutral, line 2 to neutral, and test line 1 to line 2. Be sure to check the AC voltage at the breaker after each test. Continue this process until you find the wiring issue. Once discovered, correct the issue and proceed to test the voltages again. If the AC voltage is in the acceptable range, but the IQ gateway LEDs still do not light up, you'll need to request an RMA for the IQ gateway. Remember to take pictures of all troubleshooting steps applied, including pictures of the voltmeter readings. Be sure that the pictures show the locations that we are testing and not just the readings on the screen of the voltmeter. For instructions on how to request an RMA, check out the video linked in the description below. Thank you for watching another informative video from the Enphase training team.